What the hell are you doing, buddy? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be down here. You are way too deep. These whales are one of the most majestic creatures, if not the most majestic creature, in any game I've ever seen, except when they do this. Because this guy just looks like a bit of a dum-dum. Don't really know what that is, but uh, I'll take it. As you probably expected, I am indeed here to try find the pilot's last known location, which is right here, but we've been here before and we actually died. But of course now we have the sea truck, which is going to enable us to find pretty much everything that we really want. Yes, there is. Thank you for telling me, I guess. But yeah, I want to explore this biome first because, like I've said, this is probably my new favourite biome in both games and I really just want a chance to properly explore it. Plus, the Omega Lab is here and at some point I'll probably end up running into that. Ooh. This looks like the large chunk that the PDA was just talking about, but it looks like we can kind of go into it. It's a little bit dark at the moment, I do apologise. Ooh. I think that's a base right there. Is it not? And it looks like we're right above an architect body cache, but that doesn't look like it's here, it looks way deeper. But this, yes, there is the Omega symbol right there. That was so much easier than I expected. I I wanted to explore the biome a bit first, but hey, listen, we're here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and explore it. And it's not even 200 meters deep. Oh, and you might be wondering, when did I get a fabricated module? Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just show you, it's probably easier. Ow! Oh! What the? Eh? Uh, sp hit, 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 right click, right click, right click. I'm right clicking! I'm right clicking! Ow! Get up, 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 <gasps> Hello! Is this what we need? Hey! Get in! You think he's right next to me? I have something important oh. to share. Another artifact. Yes, well then. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Ouch! Yeah, that sounds right. Wait. He's disabled my truck. Okay, we're going. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. Well, I think that went flawlessly. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, it was quite an interesting journey trying to get that fabricate module. Uh, I mean, hopefully you enjoyed. We got tons of plants around here that I can scan, but debatably more exciting is the exterior grow bed, so I can actually start growing my own kelp and gel sacks and stuff like that. Looks like we've got a data box here for swim charge fins. The fins I have at the moment I think are just normal ones, so that's definitely an upgrade. But yeah, this is definitely the Omega Lab, so let's whip out our torch. What is this? Oh, a bulkhead. Nice. Oh, and... Oh no, I can't scan that. Damn it. I can't actually make a health kit maker thingy me jiggy. I haven't been able to make it yet, so what the? There's like walls in this room, that's cool. Vin Pam. We also got the vending machine, which, you know, you can't you can't survive without a vending machine. And Dr. Danielle Valenti. Obviously all these people are dead by now. Ooh, we got some framed art. An aromatherapy lamp and a picture. Oh, please don't. I would, yeah, I'm nearly out of oxygen. Please don't pull me into an animation like that game. It's going to be really nice to decorate all my bases and stuff with this. I know we haven't really got a proper base made up yet, and it's probably going to be a couple episodes still until we do that, but I do have some really cool plans for bases. But here we have Danielle's bed. Oh, and a PDA right there underneath that. I did not see that. Flirting question mark. And in here we have a postcard. Cool. We got just a regular old single bed, which boring guy was living in here. We got another framed art here on the wall. Then I'll just nab this PDA and try skedaddle. We got tons of stuff in here, but you guys know I ain't gonna read that. Ooh, that's a new thing. An arrow ray, and I think I saw another new thing. What's that? I didn't see what it said. A newt fish! A newt fish? I want newt fish. I'm gonna have a swarm of newt fish. That's my goal. Forget beating the actual game. I just want newt fish. Let's go to the right section. Whoa, it's like a plant room. A data box for a control room. What's a control room? I've never seen that before. I think that's new. Oh, and we got a water filtration machine. Is this gonna unlock the whole thing? I really hope it does, because water... Actually, it's not been that much of a pain, but it's just so nice to have a filtration machine in your base. Oh, and it did unlock it. Yes. We don't really have space in our base at the moment, but I, again, do plan on building another one soon-ish. We've just got a PDA on this table and a PDA down here on the floor. And we're back in. Let's take a look at the big middle room. Where's my torch? There it is. Oof, this looks 
ugly, very dirt dead. What's, is that in the middle? A nuclear reactor fragment. Wait, did the nuclear reactor in this base explode? Oh, guys, that's, that's embarrassing. Come on, guys. It went boom boom. A nuclear waste disposal just floating around in here too. Ooh, we've got a call from Alan. That laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. <gasps> Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would, but the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? I don't know. Prawn suit lady, probably. Get off my land. I mean, we know she's somewhere around here, so they're kind of on her land. Keep seeing flashes of things. <gasps> Power cell charger. I, I was going to say, I keep seeing fractions. Fractions? Fragment things. Stuff to scan. That's what I keep seeing. I keep seeing little pop-ups, but then they disappear before I can see what they actually are. Doesn't really look like there's anything else in here. Don't know what that is. I can't scan it, so I'm not seeing anything. So let's just grab this PDA. Enzyme mutation study. Would that be the enzyme from the first game, maybe? I don't know. I've looked around in here. I really should close all these, but I, I don't know. I don't want to. This room too, like, I wish I could scan this. Oh, why are there little puppy habits? I don't know. Like, I wish I could get this room. The biggest room that we really have. Oh, there's glass on the top of this one. Oh, you can have glass domes. That's awesome. Well, yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's anything left here in the Omega Lab. This goes very deep. Let's bring the sea truck down there. You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Well, I am gonna. Dum dum. Okay, this is about as deep as we can go right now. Let's hop out and see if there's anything just this little bit deeper. Okay, it's very much not a little bit deeper. It's quite a lot bit deeper. A flowering spore. Benzene. A body component is near. <sighs> it is, is it, Alan? Is it near? Oh, urinate. I can't really go much further. What are you? I haven't seen you before. I can't really go much further than this. In fact, I've really got to turn around. Yeah, I mean, we we do have a new depth module, by the way, or a depth upgrade for the sea truck, so that's good. I made that as well as the fabricator module because we had diamonds now to make the um, to make the enameled glass. That's it. Oh, is this the body cache that it's talking about? It probably is, right? But yeah, we do have the depth thing, so now we can go to 300 meters, as you've seen, instead of 150, which is what it was before. But I don't think that's really going to be enough still. Prawn suit's probably a good idea, but I don't even think a prawn suit can go to these depths. It looks though like this really does expand out into a lot of caves so when we do have something else to go deeper this is where we'll go and we know where it is now so it'll be easy to get back here. Spinner. But that's pretty neat a whole new underground biome located. Probably smart that we go for this last known location of the prawn suit lady now though. Oh although there's like an architect wire thing or cable or whatever you want to call it. Oh, there's also a fragment for a sea truck something. At least it looks like a sea truck something. It is a aquarium module. There's an aquarium module. Seriously? That's really cool. We do need two more of those to make it, but uh, that's very, very cool. I want I want an aquarium in my sea truck. The last known position is right over there. This is actually pretty close to it. I don't know how I didn't see it. Probably because I died. Yeah, it's pretty a, usually a big thing, you know. Does this head anywhere? I can't really see any more. I know it sucks that it's dark and I wish I could sleep, but we don't have a sleeper module. If there is a sleeper module, I don't even know if there is. Ah, uh, I'm not really seeing any more of those architect wires. Yeah, doesn't look like there's any around here. That is a shame, but let's go back to this then. So this is where it is. We're like right on it. And I think where I went before was down into this cave. And there's many, many sea monkeys around here. So I kind of got to figure out where to go from here because it's a last known location. So you've kind of got to go here and then figure it out yourself. But like I said, we have the sea truck. We can go to 300 meters and we have oxygen. It's a big deal. Just looking around the cave for any signs of people. Might as well grab this. That could be useful, except it's an ice map. So I don't really see a situation where that would be useful. Oh. What is this? There's a little light here. Like a man-made light, so maybe that's... Maybe we can follow the lights or something. Oh, there's another one here. Ooh, this is kind of leading into a very deep and dark area. There is more lights, though. So I think I'm going in the right direction. We are getting pretty deep, however, which is not good. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Yeah, I told you that already. Let's grab a health pack just in case. Probably some food and a couple drinks. And let's keep on trying to find it. I don't see 
Well, we were going in this direction, whatever. Let's see if it's down here. Oh, it is, it is most definitely down here. Hopefully there's oxygen. I mean, if there's a person living it, you would think there would be oxygen, right? That would make sense. Is this a moon pool? I think it is. It is. Hello. And a customized bronze suit. Can I make my own? No, don't think so. Just the logs and communications. Not a very well kept base, Margaret. It's all very mucky. All right, bronze suit lady. I think it's about time you and me had a little chat. 